kingdom greetings from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet, Ambassador, by the will of God. The Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is not a book of theology. Nor the Bible is about ideology, but the Bible is about the King of Glory, the Kingdom of God, and its royal citizen. Royal family. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and to give us our debt us, as we will give our debt us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our session today is principle the word of his power. Principle, the word of his power. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in beginning. All things were created through him. And apart from him, not one thing was created that he had been created. Life was in him, and the life was the life of man. And the light shined in darkness, yet the darkness did not overcome it. I'll define word. Word is the expression of speech, logos. The expression of speech. The word is God. It's God's Speaking, expression of speech, the word is God, and the word was in the beginning, God was before the beginning, in other words, God began the beginning, the beginning came from God. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness. And darkness could not overcome it. Could not overcome it. John 1.1, 1, 1. in beginning, God create, create. The word create means to create something from nothing, to form something from nothing. Only God can do that. That's why it's awesome, create something from nothing. In other words, in beginning, God create the earth. In beginning, God create the earth. He create the heaven and the earth. God is spirit. God is spirit. Spirit is invisible. Invisible God, invisible spirit. Unseen, 
God is spirit. So in other words, the spirit creates all things. God is spirit unseen. Everything came from the unseen. And the unseen God is in heaven. And the unseen create the seen. What you can see was created by the unseen. In other words, and the earth was without form and word. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. The earth was chaos. No form, no word. God bring order. God produced order. And God said, God said, God is the expression of speech. God said, let there be light. There was light. God saw that it was good. What God want when he create, he decide what he want. And what he decide, he speak to what he decide. And after he decide what he speak to, what he decide what he want, he decide what he speak to, and what he speak to, become what he want. After he decide, to become what he want. In other words, God said, let there be life. There was life. When God wants fish, he speak to the water. When God wants animals, he speak to the earth. When God wants fish, he speak to the water. When God wants trees, he speak to the earth. Speak to the earth. And God spoke to the earth. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herbs, healing seed after its kind. Trees, healing seed after its kind. The seed is in itself. God saw that it was good. In other words, when God wants seed and trees, he speaks to the earth. And the earth brings forth what he said, what he wants, what he decides. He came forth by the power, by the power of his word, by the power of his speech. His word has power. His word has authority. When he decides what he wants, he speaks what he wants. When God wants to create man, he said, let us create man. In our image and our likeness, God created man from himself. Came out of God. Man came out of God. God is spirit. So in other words, God is invisible. Man is invisible. When God speaks to, when he creates man, He's speaking not to man, he's speaking to the spirit in man. Man is a hundred percent spirit. Trap in a dirt suit. The word earth is dirt, is humus. And the word man is spirit. In other words, God speaks to the earth, create the earth. God create man for man from the dust, humus, and breed the bread of life into man, and man become a living soul. So man came out of God. Man came out of God. In other words, the word is God, and the word become flesh. The word become flesh. In other words, when God created man, Adam, our forefather, was the first man, but the second man was the man from heaven, the Lord from heaven. Second man was the Lord from heaven, which is the word. The word that of all all things by his power, by his mighty power. Hebrew 1, 3, who being the brightness of his, of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. By the word of 
is power. Everything exists and everything came forth by the spirit, which is void of his power. John 4, 24, God is spirit. God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So in other words, the word of his power create everything who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and of holding all things by the word of his power. In other words, the word of God is quick, powerful. The word of God speaks to what he wants and what he wants become what he speaks. What he wants become what he speaks and what he speaks decide what he wants and it was in his mind and his heart and his purpose. The purpose of God for the earth, he created the earth for man. God is love and he loved mankind and he decided to share his rulership, his leadership with mankind. The first thing God gave man was dominion. God said, let us make man after our own image and let him have dominion. Dominion is world power. Dominion is government, management, leadership. In other words, man is kingdom, dominion, leadership over earth resources. So God created man in his own image. When God created everything that he created, he created a law in it. In other words, when God created the sun, when he spoke to the sun in the filament, when he spoke to the sun, he made it a greater light to rule the day. That's a law. It's a law, it's a principle that the sun ruled the day and the moon ruled the night. So in other words, everything that God made, he placed the law in it. When God made the trees, spoke to the trees, the seed is the law of the tree. Place the seed in it, what? To bring forth and multiply all fruit. In every fruit, there is a seed. The fruit is in the seed. And everything in the seed, what he spoke to was stuff. The seed and the tree, when they die, they become dust. When the animal die, they become earth. Mankind never die. God is invisible, man is invisible. Create mankind in his own image. So mankind have a body. His body dies, but not his spirit. His body dies. Mankind is invisible. 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 In other words, God give man dominion. Dom dominions mean kingdom. 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 If you understand this, you'll understand the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. The Pharisee came to Jesus and asked him, when will the kingdom of God come? Jesus said, kingdom of God do not come with observation. Lo here, lo dear, but the kingdom of God is within you. It's invisible. Invisible God, invisible king, invisible king, invisible kingdom. The citizens are invisible. The citizen of kingdom, citizen of the kingdom of God. In other words, God spoke to everything that he wants. Give man that authority, that authority. Adam lost that authority. Adam lost his forefather. Adam lost. Adam lost everything. Adam lost God. Adam lost his father, God, Elohim. God, El Shaddai. God, I am that I am. Lord God Almighty, Jehovah. God, the King of kings and Lord of lords. He lost his father. 
mankind broke the law, that principle that God had established to govern everything. In other words, when a manufacturer made a product, he made the laws in the product to govern it. Those who drive a car, those who purchase a car, those who own a car, the law of the car is in the glove compartment. In the glove compartment is the manual. The manual is the minds of the manufacturer. The car functional or law or principle, laws. When the manufacturer made the car, the car functioned on gas or diesel, truck or bus or, or train, truck them function on diesel. The car need gas. The car, truck need diesel. Function on diesel. Everything that the manufacturer made, he made the law in the thing that he made. In other words, man need God. Man got to function on God. Man got to rely on God to live. God is life. In him is life. And the life was the light of man. And the life shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended not. Why? Because the light was in God. That light was light. Man is the candle of the Lord. Man came from God. Jesus' first inauguration message was this. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach. What he began to preach? Repent for the kingdom of God is arrived. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is alive. The kingdom is here now. God's original purpose, plan, is to extend heaven to earth, from the nation of heaven to earth, through his family, sons and daughters, kingdom citizens. That's his original plan. Give man dominion, kingdom, leadership, dominion over earth resources. Give them authority, give them power, the word of God is power. The word of God of all, all things by the word of his power. He was before the beginning. He created the beginning. In other words, God start, start. God began everything that you see. Everything that you see came from the invisible. Came from the invisible. Everything you see came from the invisible. Invisible God, invisible King. Blessed be the God of our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. In heavenly place, men are in heavenly, the kingdom on earth, and the kingdom in heaven. In other words, where the King is, the kingdom will come. He said in Matthew 6, 9, Our Father, who is not on the earth, who is not on the earth, but is in heaven, is in the unseen in heaven, thy what? Thy kingdom. Kingdom come. God made the earth to extend the kingdom of God to colonize the earth. When influence hit a colony or territory, it become colonization. God made you to colonize the earth, to become just like the king, to take on his lifestyle, his image, his culture, his law, his glory. When God made anything, he placed the law the principle in what he had made. Put the principle in what he had made. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy what? Will. What is will? Will is purpose. What is purpose? Purpose is, is why you were born, why you are created, why you came to earth, why you're living on earth. God's purpose must be done in your life. Thy will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Forgive us as we forgive our debtor. Lead us not into temptation, but thine is yours the kingdom, the power and glory. The kingdom is the power and glory forever and ever. Amen.
glory to God. Kingdom principle, kingdom laws. We all do obey God laws. Many Christianity and Christianity, many Christians, I'm under grace. I'm under grace. Now I'll define grace for you. Grace is a teacher. Titus 2, 11, 12 says, For the grace of God that brings salvation had appeared unto all men, teaching them to deny ungodliness and worldly love, that we should live soberly, righteous here in this present world. Glory to God. God made man to live a law, to function a law. Now, if you disobey the law, like Adam did, Adam disobeyed kingdom law, and the earth, he was on his own. He become independent. Chaos, chaos at the whole earth. That's why when God never create institutional government, God never create Congress, God never create uh, Senate, God never create lawyers, doctor, judge, prison, God never did that. He created man, give man the dominion, give man self-government to govern himself upon the earth. Glory to God. He made kingdom, give man kingdom, leadership, dominion to govern himself upon the earth. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is powerful. The word of God should be in you. The law of God should be in you. He said, new covenant will I make in those days. I'll write my word on the heart, and I'll write my word in their mind. I'll write my word in their heart, and I'll write my word in their mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My word is powerful. The word of God is powerful. You are made by the Spirit. You are made from the word of the King. Glory to God. You are made from kingdom dominion, from the word of the King. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's good news. The word of his power. Thy will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Thy will be done. Now, for the word, for the word of God, the word of God, Loga, expression of speech, is living. It's alive. The word of God is alive. It's life. It's my life. It's your life. And it's effective. It's effective and sharper than any double sword and sword piercing forth to separation of the spirit and the moral. It's able to judge the ideas or the thoughts in the heart. No creature is hidden from him, but all things are exposed in the eyes of him who have given an account. The word of God is reveals the heart, reveals the thought. It is powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Glory to God. This is Joseph, called Holy Prophet, ambassador by the will of God, our Father, who is in heaven. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but we have known you through Jesus Christ. We come to thee, Holy Father. Keep kingdom citizens everywhere through your name. Bring believers closer to your kingdom. Bring mankind everywhere to your kingdom. Help us to become one as you and your Father are one, that the world might believe that God has sent you. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but we have known you through Jesus Christ. And we come to you, Holy Father, bless souls everywhere, strengthen mankind everywhere. On behalf of Global Diplomat College Center, this is Joseph Forbes, God, Holy Prophet, Ambassador by the will of God. I thank the pastors in Greenville, South Carolina, 
global diplomat, college center pastor, our associate pastor, Jason Webbs and Amy Webbs from Greenville, South Carolina. Thank God for the pastor in Manila, Philippines, Pastor Elvera, pastor ambassador. Thank God for those in Lake City, Arkansas, Hong Kong. Thank God for those in China. Also, thank God for those in Malaysia, those in Indonesia. Thank God for Malaysia, Indonesia. Thank God for the United States of America. Thank God for the Bahamas, Trinidad, Tobago. Thank God for Canada, Jamaica. Thank God for uh, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico. Those who are view, those who view these videos on YouTube, we thank God for you. We continue to pray for you, and we continue.